Hey guys, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So today um, I'm going to show you a quick time lapse of a few things I did off camera, um, mainly just trying to fix our power, which was uh, suffering greatly. And we're about to add all of these uh, centrifuges to our power grid. Um, and uh, they're all gonna be working. And so we really would like for them to you know, not uh, overload our power grid. So let me show you a quick time lapse of that and then we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, now that we got that out of the way, uh, we are going to work on finishing our uranium processing grid here. Um, so uh, the first thing we need to do is actually get the uranium down here. So I'm gonna go here and this is going to be um, the uranium drop. So do uranium over and we'll say drop. And then the one all the way over here will be uranium pickup there we go all right and then we need to um, back, add, add the train uh, stations so we'll do uranium drop and we'll add empty cargo and we'll do uranium pickup and we'll add full cargo and then we will say that it's on automatic awesome okay and then the last thing that we need to do is uh, we do need to get power down here for our train or fuel, not power, fuel down here for our train. And you know what's easy is just grabbing solid fuel from this line right here. And it's super cheap too, it's what, 10 light oil. So I think that we're just gonna do that because that is um, 
pretty easy. And then um, we should be able to do some fuel processing really quickly here. And let's see, where is a fuel processor? Fuel processor, I need some stone bricks. Okay, let me go grab some stone bricks just real fast. They should be right here. Okay. And let's try this again. Fuel. All right. Three of them should be plenty. Okay. And so let's pull these down. All right. And again, we'll come on to this side of the train. Go here. There we go. Um, looks like we need to go up one tile there. It's fine. All right, there we go. So that will be able to power that train. And then let's hook up our power poles. There we go. There we go. Oh, and I was gonna, <laughs> I made these fuel processors and then I didn't even use them. Um, whoops. Okay, let's try this again. Where's the fuel processors? There they are. Okay, let's uh, try using the things that I make. Okay. There we go, process fuel out. And then we'll come over here. There we go, let's pick up all this heavy, not heavy, this uh, solid fuel, grab all that, there we go, that's solid fuel, and then get rid of all that there, okay, so now we've got our uranium coming out, and it looks like we need some more chests, All right, and then I guess we'll just craft a few of these and just finish these chests off. So put one there, put them there, and there. Okay. And looks like I'm gonna have to go deal with these biters. I put turrets over here, but it looks like they must be coming from down here, but don't want to attack oil for some reason. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go deal with those and then I'll be right back. Okay. So, biters dealt with, and now we're going to come down over here, and you can see that we are starting to process our uranium. Um, but we are going to have to uh, do some belt shenanigans here, I believe, uh, since we don't have any uh, filter long inserters. Uh, so let's grab some belts. Let's have them all output there, and then you're going to output half on the near side. go. Alright, let's bring this down up here. Alright. So then like right here, what we're going to do is we're going to do output priority left or right. And it is going to be for uranium 238. So we're gonna just make a long belt here. And then here, we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna do it for uranium 235. So it's gonna work like this. And then this will be iron and stone, hopefully. Let's pick that up and put it down. Okay, there we go. All right, let's craft a few more of these. So then what's gonna happen is um, we are going to put our uranium uh, 235 there, and then we're going to just box up the uranium 238 for now. So we'll do this, and we're going to grab this iron and stone. There we go. And then we are going to work on getting this iron and stone put back into the system. And the easiest way to do that is to bring it over here, um, because this belt is for iron, and this belt is for stone. Um, so let's see if we can do that. Somehow. 
What's the easiest way? Probably need to go like down and around, I guess. Clear these rocks. Unfortunately, we don't have um, uh, active providers that can just get rid of them and then get them back into the system. So this is the uh, easiest solution besides doing that. Um, all right. So we just need to come over a little bit more, and then we'll run like straight up from here, pretty much. It's kind of a weird belt, I know, but. Uh, I think that this honestly is the best way to do this um, because it, it'll guarantee that we get rid of this stuff, which is really what we need to do. So, okay. So then here, we're gonna have one more splitter like this. This will output stone to this side, and we're out of belt. Oh, our bot should be able to finish, I believe. And then that'll be iron. And are we, yeah, we're, we're in robot range, so our bots will finish that off for us. And that will have filtered everything down that we needed to. All right, so let's uh, grab some belt really quickly. There we go. All right, and then we'll come back down here and we'll see that everything is indeed uh, processing pretty well. Um, and we're going to add some speed modules, too. Perfect number, actually. And we're, of course, struggling on power once again. But the whole point of this is hopefully that we will... Uh, geez, 700 kilowatts each. That's uh, quite a lot. These are taking almost 8 megawatts. But you can see we've got our first um, uranium-235 and... Uh, if we just look real fast to get Covrex, Covrex, it's with a K, Covrex, there it is. Um, we need to do production science packs first, so we are still a ways away from getting Covrex processing, but um, that's okay. Um, we do want to get our 30 uranium um, to uh, 235 in order to be ready for that. Um, so that's what we're going to do here, and then once we have um, more than that, um, you know, we're, we'll probably start making some fuel cells, and I have crafted um, over here, we do have four uranium um, reactors, or uranium, nuclear reactors, um, so we can start doing some um, actual uh, nuclear power, and then over here, somewhere, over here, we have our heat exchangers and our turbines, and over here we have um, our heat pipes. So we are doing everything that we need in order to do uranium power. It's just a matter of um, getting the nuclear fuel cells and whatnot. So what now? Aha! So now they have skipped going for the <laughs> going for the turrets and have in instead gone for. Um, the uh, <laughs> the oil, which is just classic, honestly. All right, that's fine. We will figure that out shortly. Um, but in the meantime, we want to work on um, polishing data storage substrates. So if we uh, come over here and we look at this, we just need uh, cosmic water, and then we're going to need some decontamination facilities. So we, we're going to want to make sure that we uh, make enough decontamination facilities to manage this. Um, but this, these are gonna be used um, in making these blank data cards, which need copper plates and advanced circuits. And then these blank data cards, of course, will be used um, in supercomputers with electronic circuits to make machine learning data. So that is our uh, path to getting um, Utility science packs, which require machine learning data. We, of course, are already making almost everything else except for the kryptonite, kryptonite, cryonite rods, um, which we will hopefully be tackling very quickly here. Um, in the meantime, though, we need to get a rocket up to space, it looks like, and we're a little bit short on cargo rocket sections. 
So I'm gonna work on ensuring that we get all those and then we will be right back. Okay, so we're getting ready to go down. Um, we are getting there on our uh, rocket parts, <clears throat> but we of course need to be bringing our data storage substrate. So if we go into outer space, go to the universe explorer, go here, we're going to request, uh, you can see I've requested some copper plates. We're also going to be requesting uh, right over here, the rough data storage substrates. And let's just request a thousand of them. Okay, so our cargo rocket is definitely gonna be getting a little full here. And unfortunately we are like low on power down here. So we are struggling in terms of um, getting those signals back from outer space. Um, we're at 97 here. We're gonna turn this uh, launch trigger off so it doesn't leave without us. Um, and then we're gonna craft um, an underground here because we are gonna need to span like this awkward amount of tiles. And then we are gonna fly up here. We are gonna grab these um, rough data storage substrates. So we'll do underground there. And can we like come down right here? Yeah, yeah, totally can, okay. All right, there we go. All right, okay, this is like going very perfectly. There we go, okay. And then we'll bring this down. And that is why uh, planning your bus early on makes it easy with the yellow belts. And then of course later on though, <clears throat> with other kinds of belts, it just doesn't matter as much. But okay, so we can span this whole, this whole shebang with one red underground. And then we are gonna hook this up to this. Not to that. We're gonna hook it up to um, a decider combinator. So we'll hook this up here, we'll hook this up here, and then we'll say rough data storage substrates, less than zero, output one, rough data storage substrate, and then we'll do set filters on this. And of course, our power is low, so unfortunately we are not getting the signals that we want. Um, so I'm just gonna grab, how many can I even grab? I'm gonna grab a bunch of these. All right, I'm gonna actually grab the full amount and I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed um, all the data storage substrates that we needed and we are still loading some things. Um, and okay, now of course they are showing up, which is awesome. Um, we're gonna turn this back on um, and we're actually just gonna launch it manually anyways. Um, so no need to wait right now. And we have liftoff. Absolutely beautiful. And we have, it looks like another nice landing, which is awesome. And then really quickly, what we're gonna do is we are gonna set this to uh, no launch trigger because we do not wanna be left behind. And we should have enough rocket parts up here for a whole rocket, which looks like we do. Um, but that's our ticket home. So we do not wanna be left behind. So we are gonna grab some belts and we are gonna grab some assembly machines, manufacturers, um, and then some space platform. And then I brought enough um, materials to make several decontamination facilities, which, which is what we need um, in order to polish these. Uh, so let's grab one of these space manufacturers, and they are absolutely ginormous. We're gonna put one down. We're gonna make <clears throat> a couple decontamination facilities. Um, See if we can make even a few more than that. Grab, whoa, whoa there. Let's grab some low densities. Okay, that's four. We need more space pipe, I guess. Uh, I think we have some right over here. And I know that some of you guys have mentioned like getting a sort inventories mod. I do, uh, I did take a look at it and I do like it, but um, I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. I like a bit of the chaos. Okay, let's see, that's six. That should be enough for now. Uh, we may need more later. Okay, and then we're gonna need these space platforms. So what we're gonna do, we have our cosmic water over here. 
Okay, and we do need, this is what we're gonna need uh, in order to uh, polish these. So let's take a look once more just to be sure. So yep, it's just cosmic water and then um, the rough data storage substrate. And then uh, you get out five contaminated cosmic water, one polished data storage sub, uh, substrate, and 1% of the time you would get scrap, okay? So um, we're gonna build a little area over here that is gonna do all of the um, polishing for our entire base, okay? So we're gonna probably see if we can get um, the substrates to come like right through here somehow. Maybe, maybe we'll empty them into this uh, warehouse and then what we'll do is um, actually have like move this over and then we'll have it come right up here and come right through here. I think that seems like a good idea. Let's grab that. Um, and we'll continue filling this in a little bit. Um, so first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a decontamination facility. And this decontamination facility is uh, not gonna be used for polishing, but it's gonna be used to turn um, contaminated cosmic water into um, 99 cosmic water and contaminated bio sludge. And then it looks like we will have contaminated scrap uh, come out of this and the contaminated bio sludge we at some point uh, if we can just look at this real fast we will be able to clean it into um, bio sludge which is awesome because we eventually will need a bunch of bio sludge we might just uh, keep the contaminated bio sludge for now <clears throat> but we'll see so this is going to be coming from uh, all of the polishing machines so we'll have this right here and then we are gonna have some space pipes come like this, and that's gonna be the output of the cosmic water. And we are gonna need um, a little bit of a circuit condition here. So I don't like where this uh, storage tank is now, unfortunately. So let's make a pump, and we're gonna do um, some fancy shenanigans, and I don't have iron beams to make that. Do I have, let's look at Oh, these, these are the other tanks up here. Steel, I have steel. Okay, grab all the steel here. Okay, we're gonna grab a large storage tank. We are going to pump all of the cosmic water into the storage tank because we really don't feel like losing any of the cosmic water that we have currently. So let's see, this storage tank. Oh, let's just wait for this to finish crafting very slowly. Um, in the meantime, we can uh, start setting up these buildings over here. So we'll start setting it up right down here, I think. And then we'll set up a couple. We're gonna need more of this. There we go. And these are all gonna be the polishing, okay? So polish, 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 and then we'll see if we can fit two more in. Okay, so we've got our tank now somewhere. These tanks are really hard to see. Uh, tank, there it is. Okay. So what we're going to do, we need to <clears throat> come up with a way for us to not make more. So actually what we're going to do is this first. We're going to pump all of the cosmic water into this tank. As quickly as possible. because we do want to pick up this tank and then we'll pump it all back into the system. But basically, and let's craft one more um, pump. And this should run us dry, I think. Very close. Basically, I just don't want to waste any cosmic water because it's so precious at this point. All right, so what we're gonna do Okay, I think we're just gonna pick this up. There we go. Okay, so we wanna have, um, we're gonna have a pump right here. And this pump is going to go to our tank. So we're gonna put our tank back down. It's gonna go right here. There we go. 
And this pump is going to have a condition on it, and that condition is going to be that cosmic water is less than, er, yeah, it's less than 20,000, or not 2,000, 20,000, let's say. So if it becomes greater than 20,000, we're gonna stop making new cosmic water. And the main reason for that is we never want this decontamination facility to stop working. And we'll pump all the cosmic water back into the system now. Um, the reason we don't want it to stop working is because if these stop polishing, um, because there's too much cosmic water, then we're gonna run into uh, some issues. And we do not want issues. All right, so we just need a little bit more space over here. Um, that will be for our belts to come in. Okay, and then let's see, we can pick this up. There we go. This is now almost full again, and we can pick that up. Um, all right, so we are going to grab more space platform. We're gonna grab these belts, and we have too much steel it looks like, so let's go throw this steel um, over here. Actually, you know what we can do? We can throw it in here. There we go. Um, so over here, we are going to have our uh, data storage substrate be emptied into this warehouse. And then we're gonna copy this inserter. There we go. And then we're gonna put these back. And then this is going to be a very tight little corridor. Um, and let's grab our space undergrounds up here. Got 50 of them, awesome. That's exactly what we need. Um, this is gonna be a tight little corridor over here for these uh, data storage substrates. And I don't like that we don't have two on that. So actually we're gonna do it right over here. Jeez, these belts. Okay, we're gonna drop this one on the near side. And we're gonna do it like this. Okay, and this is gonna be that. And this is going to be this. Okay, here we go. I definitely wanted a full belt of this, so that's why we did that. And uh, let's see, this is a little bit messy in here. But that should be fine. Okay, there we go. Let's pick this stuff up. And we're gonna bring it down like right through here, I think. So let's see, we can do this right here. So there's our rough data storage substrates. We didn't leave a ton of room here, um, unfortunately, but the goal I think will be to get maybe like one or two more belts through here, if we can. Might have to rearrange some things. Um, all right, so then we need right here. Okay, and this part should be pretty straightforward, obviously. We're just gonna throw down some inserters here and then grab belt and run it down. There we go. And that is um, the first part. The second part will of course be to connect all of the pipe inputs. And let's uh, just quick craft one, two, three, four, I think eight is what we need, maybe a bit more. Um, and then we can come around uh, no, we really can't come around. That's all right. So we're gonna just have to come right through here, I think. Okay, there we go. And then we can come right in here. And we'll do this right here. And we're gonna do all of them like this, I think. That does not work because it will mix fluid types, which we do not want to do. So let's run this all the way down here. Okay, so that will connect the um, cosmic water. And then the last thing that we need to do is we need to connect um, all the dirty cosmic waters out over here. Um, and then this will, of course, output the good cosmic water. And then we're gonna throw down this um, 
huge tank that I have all the way up here. And that's going to take the um, contaminated uh, bile sludge, I think. Yeah, actually, you know, we'll, we'll clean the bile sludge too. So we'll do this, and this will clean the bio sludge, and then we'll put the clean bio sludge in here, which is actually something that we're going to need later anyways. So that will work out just fine. Um, and then we will need to, for now, I'll put a storage chest um, right here. There we go. And that is going to be, obviously, the contaminated um, scrap, which we're not going to do anything with at the moment. And then this will also need to output that. So we can just do all of it there, I guess. It's only 1% of the time, and this won't run very often. So that should be okay. And then, um, so we've got no cosmic water in here for some reason. Oh, we're like one tile off, I see. Uh -huh. Okay. So I was one tile off on those, that's fine. And then the last thing that we need to do is we need to run these space pipes here and connect all of the dirty. And we actually need two more of these, which we'll connect up there. <clears throat> and then we need to actually output stuff. So we're gonna output everything, uh, like this, I think. And we need to just fill this in up here. There we go. So we need to output like this because, yeesh, that's going to be ugly. Okay, that's fine though. All right, let's just run this down real fast. <laughs> that is very ugly, but it is what it is. Okay. Okay, and let's output two on the near side. So these are the polished data storage substrates. They look nice, um, but we can't forget that we are going to get scrap 1% of the time which is, of course, very unfortunate. So we're gonna fly over here. We're gonna grab one of these. Don't need more at the moment. What is this missing? Oh, reds. Uh-huh. And then we can output or grab a long-handed inserter and it can grab reds. There we go, okay. Forgot that I had not hooked that up. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is um, the splitter. We are going to output priority here. And this is gonna be scrap. Scrap, not crap. There we go, scrap. And we'll do this. And we'll just fill this with more stuff. And then this will, of course, be um, the polished substrates, um, which can come right here. And um, these, we will um, work on turning these into um, our uh, Blake data cards. But that will be next episode, probably. Um, so I thank you guys for joining. Um, that is been uh, polishing our data storage substrates. We did get quite a lot done. I mean, we finished up our uh, uranium processing. We're getting ready to do nuclear, which is awesome because we've been struggling on power still somehow. And then, uh, you know, we polished our data storage substrates. So things are looking good to um, get going on this utility science pack very quickly here. Um, but thank you guys for joining today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, if you did, please leave a like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode.